Hi there, I'm Daft, and this is part two, or more, of a Let's Play series. Just to let you know, part one uh, was a different video earlier. This is all a cut-up segmented chunk of a stream uh, that I had previously recorded. If you're interested to see the full stream, that is in the playlist section listed under Stream Archives for this particular game title. Uh, if you want to keep watching the uh, segmented, uh, smaller, bite-sized chunks of videos, just keep on rolling with it. Uh, this will be part two, or more, uh, and they'll just keep going until it's done. But either way, thanks so much and I hope you enjoy the video. Now let's do these two because they are way, way far off and I don't want to have to come back here and get these if I don't super have to. Come on. Come on. Level three, of course it is. All right, that is B2. These blueberry are much easier now. Cool. Okay, so question. Why does Dungeon 3... Why is Dungeon 3 the one that has the regular dungeon music whenever all the other ones have the Dungeon 9 music? Or the overall music? I don't, I don't know. Ailey, uh, go in. You know... Could be a whole lot better, I'm gonna say that. Uh, I haven't beaten a single dungeon yet. Oh, it's Joe. Sorry, I'm used to Lee being the one on the gearbox. Hey, I got the flutes. So that'll let me do a couple more caves. But yeah, uh, not terrible co Piece of the Triforce! Does that just warp me straight back to the start of the dungeon? Yes, it does. Yeah, super rando Triforce, uh, especially because I really wanted to do some more stuff in here. Um, so, have not beaten any of the dungeon yet, not a single one. Did, however, uh, luck into finding the red ring uh, randomly in a dungeon, and I have the white sword. I know where the magic sword is, don't have enough max hearts to get it, and I have the candle. I have so very few items. Uh, Red Ring is your, your highest armor upgrade. Um, so I take quarter damage from all attacks now, which is super duper helpful, uh, considering the randomized enemies means that a lot of the dungeons have real strong guys in them. Uh, so that's nice, but doesn't really help me as far as uh, completing... Uh, being able to like get through obstacles in dungeons. Uh, this is the attacker, def defense, or attack. Oh, uh, one sword or master sword. I, uh, so, Zelda 1 doesn't have master sword. Uh, I didn't start until Zelda 3. But I have the, the white sword, which is the tier 2 sword. Uh, the magic sword is the tier 3 sword, which, again, I know where it is. I just, uh, you have to have a certain number of hearts before you're allowed to take it, and I do not have them hearts yet. Ow. Uh, it's not in the cemetery. It's uh, actually in uh, the cave, the starting cave. Uh, yeah, the master or the the master, the magic sword is in the starting cave where you would normally get the wooden sword. I just don't have the hearts for it. All right, hey, another heart. I might be getting close though. I, I didn't know if you had ever played uh, the original Zelda or not. Um, I know a lot of people haven't. A whole lot of people haven't. Oh, you had Zelda 2 but not 1. Okay. Fair enough. 
I'm so I've determined that I'm gonna do like a full playthrough of all the Zelda games uh, on on stream here. Not today, but that's like my plan going forward because I want an excuse to replay some of the ones I haven't played in a while. Uh, I'm debating whether I want to randomize them, and I'm also debating if I even want to do two or not because it's such an oddball. Oh, hey, uh, it's the Dragon Aqua something or other. No, this is an Aqua whatever. Um, I don't have Breath of the Wild, so that one, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens by the time I get to that point. Um, but that's, like, the only Zelda game that I don't think I've ever owned in any way, shape, or form. Uh, aside from the DS ones. I never owned the DS ones. Gleok lurks on Death Mountain. Thanks, old man. Oh, hey, more bombs. I need those. Oh, I only have a max of eight bombs. That is sad. Oh, um, sorry, by DS ones, I meant, um, the Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. I, I have Link Between Worlds. I actually didn't like it, uh, like at all. Uh, Link to the Past is 100% my favorite Zelda game ever, but when I played, um, Link Between Worlds, it just felt, I don't know, it felt like a shallow version of Link to the Past to me. Like, the dungeons were all much shorter, the, the wall merging mechanic was kind of neat, but, like, I, I don't feel like that was enough to make up for it. Uh, getting to, like, go and purchase items was nice. That was kind of neat, but also it kind of felt like... It took away a lot of the exploration aspect, too. So, whenever you opened chests, it was always either a piece of heart or rupees. Uh, or, you know, bombs or whatever. You, you didn't get actual gear from chests, and that actually ruined a lot of the... a lot of the fun for me, too. So, I had a, a few complaints with that one. That's possible. Um, yeah, because it was, it was absolutely supposed to be, like the de facto sequel to Link to the Past. Like, it, it takes place in the same same world. Like, the, the regular Hyrule map is the same as the Light World map from the original Link to the Past, and the uh, Low World map is more or less Dark World uh, from Link to the Past, just with some minor tweaks here and there. But... Yeah, I don't, I don't fault anybody that actually liked it. By all means, that's... I'm, I'm not gonna crap on somebody for, for liking a game or not liking a game. It's just I, I personally um, had a lot of things that I felt it could have done better or didn't do quite right to for me. As in avid Zelda player for many, many years. Come on. Get out of here. Alright, I'm not going to waste a key on that door because I don't have to. So I think I pretty much got this whole dungeon emptied out. I don't think there were any secret rooms in the Manji dungeon. Um... Ah! Hey. If they were, though, they'd be off of this room. It would be bombing either left or right. Um... But do I want to waste bombs right now? You know what? I don't. Yeah, but there's almost always a secret room, I think. Um... Two bombs. We will do two bombs. And then we'll we'll get the heck out of here. Nothing. Okay. Hey. Who told you guys you could respawn? Get back in your graves. Okay, one more bomb, because I remember there's a secret room to the right of the entrance of one of the dungeons. Not this one. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, so, oop, real quick, put a check mark next to Dungeon 3 because I at least beat the boss and got the major item and the Triforce piece out of it. Not 100% sure that it's 100% complete though, so we might have to come back later. Alright, down here's another bombable spot. Cool, thank you. Didn't need that. Super duper didn't need that. Um, now, I forget, does the flute teleport you in this one, or does it just let you open up a couple of areas? Flute music's also randomized. Ow! Why did that drop me here? That took me one screen over. Let's try that again. I took damage? That just literally warps you one screen to the right. Is that... I don't... I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Oh, that's how you get through... Uh oh Oh. I figured it out. Tech Titan Stand Sandstorm. Da 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 da. No. Um... Okay, so there was that one... Uh, mountain place that worked kind of like the Lost Woods where you just kept circling the same spot and I th thought that you had to do something special to get through there uh, it's you, you just gotta you gotta use the flute the flute takes you one screen to the right in there you son of a gun is it supposed to take you to completed dungeons because I don't or maybe they change the usability... Maybe they change what it does in the randomizer, because literally all it's doing is taking me one screen to the right and dropping me off. Nope, nope, nope. This took me to Dungeon 3. Okay, you know what? You're... We're right, Mipet... Mip... Mip... Miplet. Thank you. I got there. Okay, so... That's slightly less useful than I th thought it was, because I also thought it cleared out the one uh, the one pond, uh, which is where one of the dungeon entrances is. Uh, now I'm not super sure if it does that anymore. Oh, well, that was done with me. Ooh, more bombs, though. Was in here. Yes, I will take your heart. Thank you. All right. So there's also Spectacle Rock up there, which I can get through. Uh, Subomable. Not here. There's there. Okay, it also opens the pond. Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you heard me say it one of the many times. Um, aside from me saying I'm very bad at this game, I've also said uh, that I only played the whole way through this game once, and it's, it hasn't been since I've been in high school, so it's been uh, like 15 years, I want to say. So I'm, I'm rusty on a lot of this stuff. All right, Spectacle Rock. Snipe. Ha. All right, do you bomb Spectacle Rock? You bomb Spectacle Rock. Cool. Okay, instead of Dungeon 9, this is Old Woman with literally nothing I need. Dungeon 4. Cool. Alright, so that is... Nope, get back up here. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A, 5. Level 
four. All right, have not found two yet. I think that's the only one I'm missing because I found seven and eight first, found six, found three, four, nine. So yeah, I'm just missing level level two. Level four, this was... See, level two was Crescent Moon, level one was Eagle, level three was Manji, that makes four... No, not Lime. I don't think it was Lime. Snake? I think four is Snake. We're about to find out. Hey! That's Snake. Cool. Weirdest shaped snake ever. Break up Dig Dogger. Oh, is that the, the weird flying thing with the other little flying thing circling it? Oh, hey, a Dodongo. Um, do I want to bother bombing you? You're a mini boss. I don't think you drop items though. Oh well, why not? Hey, hey, come back here and eat your bomb. Cool. And give me nothing. Oh, that's Patra. Okay. I don't remember the mini boss names from one unless they appeared in, in later games. I only remember the Gorilla's name because they appeared in two. Hmm. Nope, that was not. That was my secret room. Okay, maybe I only remember the secret rooms from one and two. Now that I'm actually going through the whole list and realizing I don't know where any of these secret rooms are. I guess the question is, am I going to find the ladder? Is it a, I, I don't know why they made a ladder. The question is, am I going to find the ladder anytime soon? Yay, money! I'm maxed out. It does nothing for me. One step closer to being able to get the magic sword. Having the overworld music in dungeons is very bizarre, and you can tell the game never intended for it. Oh, hey, bow. Cool. Thank you for all the help, Miplet. That's actually super useful, uh, helping me get caught up with... I'm stuck. Helping me get caught up with uh, the game that I haven't played in a while. So, looks like we have done as much as we can do with level 4 until we get the ladder.
Okay. Alright, what else is over here that I can check on? Uh, oof. One of you guys has got to give me some more bombs, right? Nope. No bombs. That's fine. Six will get me a pretty far along. Alright, where was... The... Ah! Ah! I forgot about the stealth post. interesting. If we go east... I need to move my map over. Uh... Okay. Just looking at my map very, very closely here. Uh, okay. All right. So I guess we're going east a little bit. And ah, oh, goodness, no, that's not going to work either. That's fine. I'll just kill some moblins and figure it out later. So there's a bombable wall right here. You know what, at this point, sure. I don't got anything else to spend money on. Alright. Uh, I go down here, but I don't have the bridge, ladder... At this point, would it be easier just to let something kill me and reset back to the... You know what? Yeah. No, except... Ah! Except I'm super tanky now! Uh, boy. Anything here? Yeah, I might let these guys. I I might let them kill me here. Uh, how, where did I get stuck going through here? Was it that I needed the bridge again? Ladder, man. There's a room up here I couldn't get through to the east. From up here. Oh, I just didn't go through. Okay. Hey, 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 hey! What are these, land molas? I don't know. I'm gonna assume these are land molas. Get out of here. Um, let's give this a shot. Nope. Moldorms. They could also be moldorms. Nah, they're... Yeah, they... Mm, 
Uh, it kind of works similar to Moldorms, but I guess not then. Okay. Come on. Come on, you... Blue... Something or others. I don't know. Man. Man, there are so few bubble bull walls in level 9. That's good to know, I guess. Wait. Does the red potion automatically get used when you take lethal damage? <sighs> okay, good. No, it doesn't. to save and exit. Uh, wait, what does retry do? Danger noodles. Landmole as danger noodles. Yeah, I guess they are very noodly. And normally they're very dangerous. Okay, save. Continue. White sword. Can't get it yet. Alright. Um, what does retry do? If we, if you would pick it. Fairy fountain, and then we're gonna go drain a lake. Starts you from your last save. That does not sound like retry to me. That sounds like load last save. That sounds like that was translated horribly. All right, flute time. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. me from being able to get to two cave entrances. I don't have the power bracelet, which keeps me from getting to, I think, two other cave entrances. I don't have the ladder, which is stopping me from progressing in two dungeons. There are two bombable walls that I tried to bomb that wouldn't bomb, so I'm going to have to go do those, I guess, and hope one of them either leads me to Dungeon 2 or a cave where I can just find the power bracelet, um, unless one of the raft points on the east normally has a heart container. I have it randomized. I forgot to check and see what I actually have on it. That might be something real good, or it might be something real useless. But... It's on the way to one of the caves I gotta hit anyway. 